this is Mark, 20 years in the future, I'm saying hi. About two years ago, I started getting a little, you know, a little more serious about my songwriting. Actually, I just kind of felt like I hit hit a certain stride where I was, I was coming up with some stuff, and my buddy Rob from Nashville heard it. What happens when you, know, when you try to from the rear? Yeah. You can edit this, right? You call that doing the dolphin because you hear. It. <laughs> coming up. So let me get that again, or we can get it on one of those other takes. And an amen. Amen. That's who I am. That's who I. Yeah, do it one more time. I think we're blowing it up. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 Amen. Let me hear one of the other takes, because I actually I thought I, I did it real good on one of them. Okay, let's just do it again on this track. A, a little voice in my head suddenly said, let's just do it again, Lauren. It just appeared out of nowhere. I just heard a voice. <laughs> As we were cutting these demos, you know, of the songs, just to get them on tape, we started thinking, man, you know what? This is pretty dang good, and this kind of sounds like an album. And then I had this itch. I hadn't played live since 2001 or something like that. It had taken several years off just kind of honing the songwriting skill. And we were just kind of, I was just aching to play live. And I was like, man, you know what we ought to do? We ought to just make this a freaking album and get out and start gigging and just do this thing. We get this album done where we're like, all right, we're going to start touring. We're going to start playing. Uh, we've got to be good. We need the most rocking, ripping guitar player that we know. Well, naturally, my brother, Eric McKinney, who him and me have played together since we were 12, 13 years old. We started our first band. Close up with that string right Man, that there. is beat up right there, man. So we got my brother, you know. We got the old hippie from Texas. Uh -huh. If you're going to play in Texas, you got to have a hippie in the band. And then we're like, all right, bass. And the, the thing about my bass player is my cousin, Ryan, Ryan can go guitar. He's a he's a lead guitar shredder, and he's also a bass player. Big black phallus. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So we got the cool rock and roll bass player in there, and Ryan's got the attitude. It's, a, it's the attitude, man. You don't care if they come, stay, lay, or pray. Whatever happens, your toes are still tapping. We had the lead guitar player, we had the bass player, and then we were sitting there going, all right, to make this really cool, we need another ripping lead guitar player, somebody else that can just shred, man. And my brother had been working in the studio, his studio in Austin, with a guy by the name of Jonas Lawrence, and he's a shredding guitar player. I was told this is a hip-hop show, I don't have the right clothes. We could stop at a Western store, I'd appreciate it. He, he's the kind of guy that he starts off as Jonas Lawrence, real nice, strapping young man. But as the night goes on, he turns into Joe Nasty. And that's what we like. We bring him up on stage and he turns into Joe Nasty and shreds on the guitar, man. Ryan had, uh, had a drummer in a previous band down in Austin uh, that was just a great drummer. Michael Kelton, young, strapping young man. 
And Kelton, as we call him, he is a showman, you know, the twirling, the jamming, the double bass, the one-handed solo, and drinking beer while he's jamming, and handsome, handsome, the, the ladies, they love him. had the magic team together, we had the band. It's just like a big family. All the time you spend together in the van, in the hotel rooms, on stage, in rehearsals, sound checks. If you don't like each other, it ain't gonna freaking work. You know what I'm saying? Some people might, might think we're like a three-ring circus, you know, with, with all these smoke and lights and fireworks and crap going on, but, you know, it just makes it cool, makes it entertaining. But Eric's doing everything he can to put on the best show and get all the attention. Ryan's doing everything he can, Jonas, Kelton, and me. That's going to come together and create a high-energy, you know, full-throttle kind of show. Leaves people, uh, uh, enter, you know, entertained, feeling like, man, now I got my money's worth, man. I got my five bucks worth when I saw McKinney play because not only did I get to hear those those songs that I love, but I got to see a, a, a big energy show going. We're gonna give you the same performance, whether it's 10 people in the crowd or it's 10,000 people. We want to just get up there, do our thing, deliver a show that people are gonna go, wow. I would say that if you're going to do one thing in life, it's to eat your vegetables. <laughs> Whiskey, anybody? It's one of those songs that, that it, it kind of it kind of just says, hey man, I'm just, just a f***ing <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Watch out for, for the large armadillo in my trousers. <laughs> I kind of had this itch bad itch that, that you know, I've had it my whole life. <laughs> it was right here in my car. You know? <laughs> Baby didn't even, am I drunk? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, man.